society, unproductive member of society. You gotta raise your kids to be better than that, man. You gotta raise your kids to be better than that. And a lot of, you know, these adults, man, they be, I don't wanna say they be killing me because I don't wanna speak my demise into existence, but these adults, man, they be annoying me, bro, because like, they be on here on these TikToks and on social media and stuff making videos with their kids. And these videos are turning their children into the most delinquent, unproductive motherfuckers they could ever be. Like, why are you, um, you know, why are you sitting there, you said speaking to the soul right now, why are you sitting there, like, teaching your child to be a piece of shit, bro? Like, I, bro, I, I sit there, yo, I'm a father, I'm a father of six children, bro. I raised all my children. I cut the umbilical cord, brought them home, still raising all of them. And as a father of six children who has parented my children alongside a mother, also have little cousins, nieces, nephews that I, I parent and help as well, I cannot understand for the life of me why the hell, as a parent, as an adult, you would want to be doing some of the shit that I see these people doing with their kids, bro. Like, like it's like these people are depressed and lonely and don't have no friends, so they just want they 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 child to be their friend. Like, why is there so many grown women out here like doing promiscuous, inappropriate shit with their daughters on on live and shit? Like, it's cute sitting there twerking, doing dances that they know is inappropriate that'll get your daughter fucked on her way home from school. They doing that kind of shit because they just want. You said I can relate to everything you're saying. Yeah, like they just want. They just want to be in, bro. It's like they vicariously living. They're vicariously living through their children. Like, they want to be young again. They want to be wanted. They want to be, you know what I'm saying, out there fucking every Tom, Dick, and Harry, bro. And that's so dangerous because they have no accountability for what they're doing because it doesn't it doesn't affect them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't affect them. When they have their daughters out there dressed half naked and all of that shit, it doesn't affect them because don't nobody want to fuck them anyway. It affects their kids. The kids are the ones that that all of their homeboys that they knew from school, that the grown ups that's come around is looking at their daughters wanting to fuck them and shit. You know what I'm saying? They know it. They just try and play like they don't, or they using it to get favors out of the niggas because they know the niggas want to come around because they want to fuck her daughter, but they know he can't fuck her daughter as long as she there. So she just keep him. Keep them enticed and keep them interested, but also make sure she do what she got to do to prevent him from doing it. But that's playing a dangerous game, and you shouldn't even be doing that with your child, bro. This is what I'm saying. Like, this is the kind of stuff that women doing and trying to play like they not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to act like trying to act like everything is all sweet, and you know what I'm saying? But they out here, you know what I'm saying? They out here getting their they daughters to sleep with men, bro. And then they out here enticing men to want to sleep with their daughters. And not telling their daughters nothing about it, bro. These women is not, right, semi, single women keep women single. These women is not talking to these young girls about men trying to fuck them, bro. Like, because if you was, then the only conclusion I could come to is that you want men to fuck your daughter. Because that's what she doing. She out there, like, trying to promote it and be promiscuous and get guys to fuck her. So, like, you know what I'm saying? I just, I can't understand why you would want your... Bro, just so much, so far tonight when I was on my way in the house, bro, I seen so many, like, so many young girls who were just dressed provocatively and inappropriately to the point where it made me feel uncomfortable, bro. My ba Listen, my baby mother hates that about me. She even put in the court documents, I'll show y'all, she put in the court documents that one of my, um, ha, <laughs> truth hurts, you right, you right, you right, I ain't smoking, I'm just rolling. But look, she put on one of my, um, she put she put on one of the court documents that she thinks that I shouldn't have my kids because I I make them feel uncomfortable with what they wear around me. Because I tell my kids that they not going to dress inappropriately around me. You're not going to walk around with fucking leggings with your pussy showing through your fucking pants. What the fuck would I want to see that for? I'm your fucking father. But that pissed my baby mother off. Like, she asked, oh, he trying to tell them that they can't have their pussy out. Like, I mean... Bro, that shit weird, bro. Like, she really, like, so... How about the spark that ain't even rolling? Stop playing with me, Chief Hurts. <laughs> Chief Hurts, don't be... Hey, <laughs> yeah, you get on my nerves, yo. I'm <laughs> saying, stop playing me. You about to spark it. I ain't even rolling yet. I ain't even sparking. I still got the grass. I still got... Listen, I still got... 
I still got the goddamn grass on the paper. How I'm gonna roll it? I'm gonna I'm spark it. Nah, I probably am gonna spark it though. <laughs> I ain't gonna start. I probably am gonna spark it. It don't matter. You said I thought you was rolling that shit this whole time. Nah, I've been talking. I was breaking it up. I was breaking it up the whole time. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a long roller, bro. Like, I'm long-winded. I talk. I just, you know, so literally, I had a pickup. For those who don't know, I do it as. I had a pickup downtown near the strip club. I literally could not tell how old the girls that was outside was. I thought they was, I'm like, what is these girls doing down here? They look like they just got out of school or something. But they could have been working at the club. I don't know. Because they all look the fucking same, bro. Because y'all not letting y'all children be children no more. Like, y'all letting the fucking 13-year-old look like a 23-year-old. Like, why? That's insane. And then y'all letting them do the same shit adults do. You know what I'm saying? And then when a nigga, a grown-ass man is interested in your daughter, you want to get the nigga killed and shit. Like, what the fuck? And I'm not trying to say that a nigga should be interested in a young girl because if a nigga interested in my young daughter... I got a problem with that. Granted, I do got a problem with me allowing my daughter to look fuckable, if that's the case. If that's not the case, then obviously we that's not the case. We don't have to talk about it. But if that is the case and my daughter's walking around enticing men to want to fuck her, like that's a problem to me. You know what I'm saying? Does that mean that men should go around touching little girls? Nigga, no. And how could you be slow enough to think that? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? That sounds dumb as shit. Why would I say... Men should go around touching girls. What the fuck would I say that for? I got five daughters. People would be silly enough to actually let that shit process in their brain. <laughs> that, I, that I'm saying that. But what I will say is, though, you know, girls should not be out here enticing men to do things to them. That's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm saying? If you got a wallet, if you got a key, if you lock your car door, then you should understand the concept of not going outside dressing like a fucking hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, because why do you lock your car? Why do you lock your car? Nobody should break in it, right? So what you locking it for? Right? Right? Right. Nobody has the right to break in your car. So why you locking it, right? Just like nobody has the right to follow you home and rape you. So why are you not covering up? Like, why are you not? Why is that not important? Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why do niggas get security passcodes to their bank accounts and hide their money in their po pocket in their wallet because they don't want nobody to steal it? But then walk around with your ass and your pussy just out there. Like, so a nigga, so you scared, you got a purse because you want to protect your, your. <laughs> yeah, I see how silly this shit is that I'm saying, bro. <laughs> you got a purse because you want to protect your. Oh, what's up? What's up, Trish? Trish, I don't know if you're going to like this live. You might want to, I don't know. I, I mean, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Because I, <laughs> I sometimes be saying stuff that, you know, all women don't like, you know. Right now, I'm just speaking on the whole, you know, the whole thing about covering up, like, you know what I'm saying, for, for young girls. I'm not talking about women. If you're a grown woman, hey, do what you got to do. But for young girls, you know, why do young girls have purses to protect all of their stuff, right? Because they know somebody might steal it. They got a wallet. They got all this stuff protecting their stuff. They got keys to lock their car, right? But they just leave a pussy just unprotected. You know what I'm saying? The pussy just be completely unprotected. They don't they don't cover it up. They not they not making it look like it's taken. Nothing. They just have that motherfucker just out there. Just just up for grabs for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like that's insane, bro. That's insane that you find your car to be of more value to protect than your body. It's insane that you would sit there and tell a girl that she's insane for leaving her car door unlocked or leaving her car unattended at the gas station, right? But but she okay to come outside with her titties and ass just hanging out everywhere. Like like niggas won't do something to her. I don't know, bro. I, I, I just like I said, it ain't happening to no young ladies around me, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying? If you got young women around me, you ain't gonna wanna you know what I'm saying? You ain't fucking no young women around me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why niggas probably don't like me. They gonna be like, yo, I don't wanna be around that nigga, yo. I can't fuck little girls around him, bro. He always talking about it and bringing it up. I don't like talking about it. Right, because it make you uncomfortable because your ass like to touch little girls. I mean, real talk, like, you, yo, why would it make you feel uncomfortable if you don't do it? If we were sitting here talking about, like, you know, selling cocaine, right? Why would you be uncomfortable talking about it unless you do it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you sit there, and, yo, I'm telling you right now, bro, if you walk in a room and be like, yo, shit, yo, that coke be crazy. Anybody who sell coke, Sell coke, use coke, uh, buy coke for somebody, transport coke for somebody, gonna all do like this. 
and be looking at you, watching every word you say. Because coke is on their mind, and they, that's what they do. Like, you know what I'm saying? So when you say, yo, niggas out here always want to touch little girls and somebody, what you talking about that for, yo? It don't matter. Why you always want to talk about it? Man, stop talking about that. Girls can wear what they want to wear, man. You always trying to tell girls they can't. They can, you know what I'm saying? And they get real defensive. They they get real, like, you can tell they just, like, they, they want to change the subject. They don't want to talk about it. They, they they start blaming you. They start saying you a pedophile. They, they start doing all of this stuff, bro, because they uncomfortable. And, like, it's obvious, you know what I'm saying? Like, to a point where I sometimes will start the conversation around certain men to see how they react. Because a man, I'm going to tell you right now, a man who is against pedophilia, against molestation, and against young girls being sexualized, he ain't quiet about it. He ain't quiet about it. And he ain't about to be quiet about it. I don't give a fuck who around. He gonna say what he gotta say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because he's standing on it. You know what I'm saying? But niggas who don't feel like that, mm, they ain't really got a lot to talk about. They, they, mm, whatever. You know, those them chauvinistic men that disrespect women and don't have no respect for them probably raped a couple in their lifetime. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it 100. These be the guys sitting right next to you, your homeboy. That's real talk, yo. Homeboy sitting right next to you, raping women. Yeah, yeah. I knew a guy. I ain't going to put him out there like that, but I knew a guy. I mean, I still know him. I don't deal with him, but I knew a guy who had a good friend who was a rapist. And he knew that that nigga was a rapist. He wasn't a rapist like be going around and like roof and be going around and like abducting bitches, raping them. But he was he was the kind of rapist where he puts drinks, he puts pills in girls' drinks, and he roofy girls and stuff like that. Like, and I knew this dude that was friends with him, and the dude like wouldn't stop being friends with him. He was like, you know, I don't like what he's doing, but you know that's my man, blah blah blah, yeah. And I'm just thinking about that, like yo, that was fucked up, yo. Like you you know what this man does, bro. You know that he rapes girls. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really rapes girls. And you going to just chill with him. You smoking blunts with him. You hanging out with him. Kicking it. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that this man do that. That's crazy. Like, I can't even trust you around my kids. Because what if somebody doing that to my kids? You ain't going to speak up. Clearly. You know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, you can... You can tell a lot about a person by what they willing to tolerate and what they not. You know what I'm saying? So when you got them people that's like, you know, as soon as you say something about something, they on it. As soon as you say something about child abuse or something like that, they 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 on it. They, they you know what I'm saying? They front and center want to talk about the conversation, want to give ideas, thoughts, and all of that. They against it. But the ones that get real quiet and clammy when you start talking about certain things, pay attention to them, right? But look, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here, y'all. Remember to be positive, be optimistic, keep positive people in your circle as those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited in your future.